हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम हेबलर स्टेटिक्स इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट इफ एफ इज इक्वल टू दिस वेक्टर राइट वी आर गिवन द कॉटीज एंड वैक्टर रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ दिस फोर्स एफ इज एक्टिंग फ्रॉम ए टू बी एंड इट इज सेड दैट केबल ए बी इज नाइन मीटर लॉन्ग सो देंथ ऑफ this ab cable is given as well it is 9 meter long so we are required to determine the x y and z coordinates of point a so we have to find this x y and z coordinates of this point a so to solve this problem uh, first we need to write the coordinates of this point a from that origin so as we can see that uh, to reach this point a from this origin first we need to travel uh minus x that is in the negative x direction right so the this point a is located uh, at a distance of x along the negative x axis is right so you have to write that this is minus x and then in the y direction we need to travel this y meters right or y units distance so we need to write that this is plus y and similarly along the z axis is we need to travel z units distance right so this will be z plus z so these are the coordinates of this point a right so we can write that force f as a cartesian vector so that force f as a cartesian vector will be equal to f magnitude times the unit vector from a to b and as we know that this magnitude f and the unit vector from a to b will be the position vector from a to b divided by its magnitude so we can find uh, this magnitude using this vector right so the force magnitude will be equal to the squares of the summation of the squares of each component's magnitude and then taking the square root so this will give us the force magnitude so this is 350 square plus 250 square plus 450 square so this gives us uh, 622.49 622.49 newtons so this is the force magnitude so now we can write this as uh, f vector and this is 622.49 and this our ab magnitude is given directly right so the the position vector from a to b so the magnitude of the position vector from a to b is the length of this cable which is given this is 9 meter long so our ab position vector will be we can find this our ab position vector by subtracting the coordinates of point a from point b since the vector is directed from a to b so the coordinates of point b are 0 0 0 since it's at origin so we can write it 0 minus minus x so that will become plus x right so 0 minus minus x into i so this will become plus x so we can write this is plus x i then 0 uh, minus y so that will become minus y j and 0 minus z right so this is minus z k and this magnitude is i have told you people that this is given this is the length of the rope so we need to divide it by 9 now we can write this force vector this is 622.49 and this will be x divided by 9 i minus y divided by 9 j minus z divided by 9 k and we are required to find this x y and z coordinates of the point a now we are given that force f as a cartesian vector this force f is given so that is uh, 350 i minus 250 j and minus 450k so now the magnitude of the force is 622.49 so if i take 
uh, 622.49 common from all of these components. So, we will have this Cartesian vector in the form of this vector, right. So, we will have that magnitude of force f as common, right. So, if I take 622.49 common, then we will be left with 350 divided by 622.49. So, this is 0 0.562. So, 0 0.562 i, right. Again, if I multiply this 622.49 with this, so we will get this 350. Similarly, we will write minus and this will be 250, 250 divided by 622.49. So, this gives us uh, 0 0.402, 0 0.402 j and minus 450 this is 0 0.723 so 0 0.723 k now we need to compare this these are the vector representation of that same force f which is acting from a to b so now from this we can see that x divided by 9 is equal to this thing so we can write that x divided by 9 is equal to 0. 562. So, 9 multiplied by 0 0.562. So, the x coordinate is uh, 5.06 approximately, right. So, I will write x is 5.06 meters. Similarly, this y minus y divided by 9 is equal to this thing, right. So, minus y divided by 9 is equal to minus 0 0.402. So, minus will cancel out and y will be equal to 9 times 9 multiply by 0 0.402. This is 3.62 approximately meters. Similarly, minus z divided by 9 equals to minus 0 0.723. This will cancel out and 9 multiply by 0.723. So, this is 6.51. So, the z coordinate is 6.51 meters. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood uh, the solution of this particular problem. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Also, like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems.